Well, a week before it was set to expire, the federal government is extending the mask mandate for public transportation for another 30 days. That means it will now run through April 18th, including for air travel. John Lordson spoke with a travel expert about why this could be the last extension and what it means for MSP travelers going forward. He doesn't want to wear it all the time and he's always pulling it down and <laughs> it doesn't hold its purpose. From parents on domestic flights with their kids to people flying overseas, air travelers have been required to wear masks for two years. It's a pain, especially when you're on a, on a plane for 11 hours. On Thursday morning, the federal mask mandate was extended for another month from March 18th to April 18th. The Centers for Disease Control will now work with government agencies to develop a framework for when the mask rules can be lifted, something Huge Kyle Potter uh, believes will happen sooner than later. The airport and the airplane is the only place where Americans are currently being asked to keep a mask on. Potter is with Thrifty Traveler, a travel and flight deal website. He says the country in general is in a different place with COVID. As cases drop, he expects air travel to pick up. The one month extension comes in the middle of the spring break travel season, all while airlines see the number of people looking to fly approach pre-pandemic levels. We're getting pretty darn close to pre-pandemic travel levels. We're not there yet, but you know, really the only piece that's missing is business travel. Potter believes destinations like Mexico and Puerto Rico will see more travelers than ever before. And he wouldn't be entirely surprised if the mask mandate ends before April 18th. But some passengers, like Chris Rondo, say they'll continue to wear a mask no matter what happens. Just to protect myself, that's why. I mean, it's not going nowhere, so just because they get rid of it don't mean you should stop wearing it. At MSP, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Potter says even if the executive order uh, uh, expires, airlines could choose to extend it and require people to wear a mask. He says some flight attendant unions have been pushing to extend the mask mandate a little longer as well.